Hi beautiful souls. Today I'm sharing a little light on practicing your mastery and making it fun. So I've mentioned before that mastery is not something you come to and then that's it. It's something you're continually practicing and expanding and expanding and expanding upon. You never get there. Uh, you never get there with anything. You're always improving. You're always uh, becoming your next greatest version, as many people will say. So practice takes patience. It takes determination. It takes your uh, divine discernment. And sometimes what happens is very well-meaning, beautiful souls will begin a practice and they will be all oomph and gusto at the beginning and then their practice falls away and then they just leave it. So what I want to encourage you and invite you to consider is that if something is really that important to you, like if you really are that committed and engaged in your ascension process, if you're really that much loving the feeling of expansion, uh, not just because you want to expand for your own beingness and for your own uh, confidence and joy whilst you're here in these physical bodies, but also, and most importantly, for the greatest good of all, for all beings through all dimensions, through all universes, through all multiverses, then your practice is a key component to the expansion of all it is. Where you place your light, how you increase your light levels. And so making it fun will assist you and will uh, hold you, support you to really engage with that practice on a frequent daily level or whatever frequency you need with any particular practice. So really mix it up and make it fun. You know, this is the thing, sometimes people take things so seriously and they feel that masters have to be very serious. Well, you know, we're all masters. We're all masters. The thing is, is that so many have forgotten that and they don't go within to remember they don't go in within. They just don't go within to remember. If everyone was to go within and remember and become that awareness and expand upon that, then we would not have any issues on this planet. So go within. Remember every day going within, living from your highest self, feeling, okay, where do I need to hone and polish my toolkit? How can I make it fun? So, for instance, uh, singing and toning and um, speaking in light language with uh, the, in the hedgerows, with the elemental folk and with Bird Kingdom is something really, really enjoy enjoyable. And it also elevates light levels. And then you place your intentions and you can just push that out into the world. I say push, wrong word cancel, clear, delete that word, you can, um, you can uh, share that, that's a better word, share that into the world. And, and there's so many other things, my goodness, this, it's just, it's, when you're writing, like, you know, instead of like just, you know, being all serious, borrowed foul, frow, make sure that you're smiling because you should be enjoying this and the more you are present in it and aware of how you are you are going about any task the easier it becomes so you know smile into it feel the joy into it what's around you not observing in the way that is criticizing or judging but just being aware just being aware okay this is what's around me Okay, right now it's very windy and that is a little bit boring. It sort of doesn't really want to make me want to go out for as long. So how can I use this wind and make it fun? How can I make it fun? 
so I can pretend that the wind is blowing me along and that I'm blowing, blowing other things. So I am the wind and I can see it as it's cleansing. So instead I take my energy and I go, okay, right, we're, we're cleansing. This is what we're doing right now. And so I see how do I want to cleanse? Where, where in the world does cleansing need to happen? And purification, where does purification and cleansing need to happen within my own body? How can I, how can I um, take the great winds and ask for assistance with internal cleansing? So we make it fun. We do whatever we have to do to make it fun so that nothing seems like a chore. And that way it's it's just a blessing. Everything is a blessing. Each step is a blessing. Mastery, people think it's like, oh, you have to be really old and very, very, um, very, very serious. But you know, some of the greatest masters to be walking the earth are animal kingdom, are children, uh, before they get all involved with adults telling them what they should and what they shouldn't do. So come back to purity, come back to that playfulness, that joyfulness, because mastery really is about exploring and having fun so that you can be a greater light in service to the collective, in service to all. And call in your help, call in your higher aspects for assistance. You know, if you're like, mm, I'm not quite sure how to make this fun, call upon your highest aspects, go within. How can I make this fun? How can I make this wind fun? What can I do to transform this situation so that I can practice my mastery right now, no matter the wind? You have all the answers you ever need within you. You are a powerful, multi-dimensional being. You are pure love, you are light. I love you, God bless you. Please like, subscribe and share if you feel called to do so. My name is Zaza, thank you, thank you all.